Well, hello, and thanks for joining us this week for our pastoral update. Wanted to do a little bit of reflecting back on the past weekend in which we had our Gospel Family Workshop, and we are so thankful for all the many, many folks that came out uh, for this weekend. We had Jonathan Williams, who leads the uh, Gospel Family Ministry. Uh, he was one of our key featured speakers, and obviously Chris Shirley and Richard Ross. Uh, and then just uh, great breakout sessions and just a great weekend of being able to talk about uh, really the key theme, which wasn't necessarily just about families. It was really about this idea of passing on our faith. And now obviously one of the best ways to do that is in the family unit where parents can entrust the good news of the gospel and core elements of scripture onto their children. Grandparents can do that as well with their grandchildren. But then all of us have that responsibility as well to take what God is teaching us and to be able to impart it to other people. You see that theme repeated all throughout scripture. Obviously there in Matthew 28, the call for all of us to make disciples. Paul talks about it in 2 Timothy 2 as well. Uh, and Jonathan looked at that, just the idea of developing leaders. He tells P Timothy that the things that you've heard from me and seen in me, I want you to entrust these to other people so that they can in turn entrust it to other people as well. And so all of that is just a reminder of the importance that we have as believers of entrusting what God has entrusted to us to other people as well. Uh, where our lives are not to be a, a, a lake in which we just pool up all the resources. Our lives are to be a conduit through which God's love and truth flows into our lives and into the lives of other people. And so that's a key thing that we're going to continue to come back to here in the weeks and months ahead, obviously, here at Wedgwood, because that's a very important part of what we believe and what we hold to. And so uh, I want to those pause for a second with the big theme, just to focus in on those of you that were there uh, over the course of the weekend, if you're able to join us on Sunday. Uh, again, we looked at a lot of ways that we can apply some of these key principles and themes. And let me encourage you, as you head into this week, if, if God was speaking to you or to your family about something you needed to do, maybe parents, you're realizing you're needing to, to grow in your intentionality with how you're discipling and raising your kids, or, or grandparents, you're thinking of something of, that maybe God is leading you to do uh, in this context of your family or with your grandchildren, or anybody else, maybe God was putting it on your heart, the importance of investing into the next generation. Whatever it is that maybe God was speaking to you over these last few days, let me encourage you to do something with that. It's amazing how easy it is to go to a great event like the Gospel Family Workshop or to sit through a worship service and feel like God is speaking to you. You feel like God is calling you to do something and you're so fired up there in the moment and then you get home and then the busyness of life just seems, seems to just suck all that away. And let me encourage you that don't allow that to happen this week. Allow the, the soil of your heart to be a fertile place in which these truths are planted and can grow. And the best way that you can see that happen is just by acting on these things intentionally here in the days ahead. So let me encourage you, by the time uh, this week draws to a close, that let me encourage you to take a moment to act on whatever it is you feel like God is is leading you to do. Let me give you some advice that I heard from one of our students, uh, Carrington Hood, shout out to Carrington, uh, made a great point when asked during a panel discussion there on Saturday afternoon, what can you do with some of these things? And he just made a great point of sometimes you just got to start small. Uh, just start with an initial step of obedience in what God is calling you to do. And I think that's a great word of advice uh, for all of us as well as we seek to try to obey and to live out what God is calling us to do. So let me encourage you, figure out a way this week that you can start small in obeying and allow that to build in your own life and in the life of your family as a whole. So this Sunday, just don't forget, or actually let me whoop, rewind back a little bit, Wednesday night, all of our Wednesday night stuff kicks back off this Wednesday night, so hopefully you'll be able to be a part of that. Uh, and then this Sunday, we'll jump back into the life of David. And so over the next few weeks, we're going to actually bring all of this study to a close. This has been a pretty significant amount of time that we spent studying the life of David in part one last year. We've been covering part two over the spring and the summer months. And so we're going to we'll bring all of that to a close over the next few weeks in the month of September. So be sure to join us this Sunday. Uh, worship service at 9 a.m., missional communities at 1030 and after. We look forward to seeing you there. Have a great week.